challenge. And I'm like, what did I just sell? She left me feedback that said great price or something like that. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we are going to talk about my big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I bought these items cheap and flipped them on eBay. So let's get started with the first one. And it is, these are unsigned barrettes and the Goody brand go for even more. Now, I don't know if Goody at some point marked their items and didn't mark their items, but these are not marked. So I just put unsigned because I don't know if they're goody or not. So these will still sell. The three inch are the size that do the best. I sold these for a best offer of $40 in the buyer paid shipping. And um, I got some of these from an estate buyout and then I find them just random places, but be on the lookout because people undervalue these because they don't know. This is a vintage signed Lee, Leah Stein Lucite Rainbow Brooch Pin Jewelry Paris. And this was marked on the back right here. So I went ahead and listed this item and I sold this for $45 and the buyer paid shipping. The next one are these buttons. And I have that I got these at the Goodwill Bins, but I'm pretty sure I got these at a thrift store. Either way, I have probably pennies into them and I got a whole bunch and I sorted them by the pattern. G-E-S-V-W Gesh is what they say on the back. And I have done really well with these. Now, are they more of a long tail item? Yes, but I also price high. This is called a caliper. You can pick these up pretty cheap on uh, eBay or wherever, but it's great for measuring jewelry and small things like this. I sold this for $55 best offer and the buyer paid shipping and they did get all of these. This is a chosen winged dragon plush full body Halloween costume. And this, I believe I got at the Goodwill bins. So probably had, mm, it was kind of heavy, maybe five to $7 in it. And I sold it for $40 and 30 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So it's just a weird little red dragon. I guess it's not really weird. It's a dragon. This is a little pet shop. Now, some of these go for big money. However, what I'm going to tell you is a lot of them are faked. So you have to be very careful. Uh, there's a lot of knockoffs. So you want to make sure that it's actually real. Um, this one, I sat on this a long time. Let's see. When did I list this? I listed this in 2021. So it took three years to sell. And it's a cat. It's a short hair cat. But there's certain ones that go for more money. There are some that are really rare that go for big bucks. This one sold for $48.75 plus shipping. And I'm pretty sure someone over on Mercari messaged me and said, you will never get that price. Now, I probably have it higher on Mercari. Um, because I'm not real good at marking things down over on that platform. But either way, I still got $48.75. I thought that was great. And probably picked this up at a garage sale or a um, thrift store for probably 50 cents or less. This is a Miriam Haskell purple bead necklace and uh, clip-on earring set. It is gorgeous. I found this and I was like, oh my goodness. Look how gorgeous it is, you guys. <gasps> so I started the auction at $250 and I had immediate offers for $200. So I knew I had something good. Right there. See it? Miriam Haskell. But here's the kicker, guys. Are you ready? Here's the whole story. I sold this. It ended up selling for $335. I went into the seller's store and all she sells is pretty much Miriam Haskell. And she's got stuff in the thousands of dollar range. And I'm like, what did I just sell? She left me feedback that said great price or something like that. So I'm guessing number one, she's either a collector 
or number two, she's going to flip this for big money. So I went into her store when I was putting up my tabs and it still wasn't listed yet. I haven't checked in the last day or so. So I'm kind of watching her store to see what she's going to list it for. But it is a stunning, stunning piece. It's just, it's amazing. But I think I underpriced it. But how do you know when you can't find comps? I thought starting it at 250 was good, but it may be a thousand, two thousand dollar necklace and uh, earring set. I have no idea. So if you are a Miriam Haskell expert, let me know in the chat. This took forever to sell. These are vintage anthropomorphic dog figurines. I got these, I listed in 2021. So yeah, that's a long time. I got them at an estate sale. I paid $5 for them. Aren't they ridiculous? <laughs> Because, I mean, dogs dress like this all the time. And I ended up selling these for a best offer of $75. And the buyer paid the shipping. Is that a hoot? So it took a while to sell, but five into 75, I'll take those margins. List it and forget it. These are vintage Christmas nativity beaded artwork handcrafted. So you can see these are just little nativities and I think you can use them like as an ornament. I'm not really sure what to do with them, but somebody spent a lot of time on these and I said, I am going to list this high and see what happens. Listed in 2022 of January, they did take a very long time to sell, but I sold these for $84 and the buyer paid shipping. I think, I think, think, these came out of a thrift store mystery box, Christmas box, but I'm not 100% sure. I didn't write it down. This is a vintage talking Cindy Lou Who doll from the Grinch. She is by Playmates Toys and her hair is kind of wonky, but uh, I like to do measurements like that. And I got this out of a mystery. Okay, it wasn't a mystery. It was a uh, doll box. And if you guys remember, you've heard me talk about this. This is the one, that's her voice thing. This is the one that I got from Donatella's auction on YouTube. And I was bidding and I stopped bidding and Farm Girl Scavenger Noel started bidding. And it was a box that was like a mess of dolls, all right? Some of these dolls were a hot mess. It was hilarious. But Noelle keeps bidding and she's like, send it to Bolo Buddies. So I did a video and of course, you know, we had some laughs. It's in my, um, on my channel. It's funny. But the dolls, I, I've been selling them. I've been selling them. And this one sold for $42.25 plus shipping. So shout out to Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. I sold another one. So yeah, she sent me that as a gift. It was um, a big fun, fun joke. Uh, because she's like, you are going to list those. And I'm like, I am going to list those. All right. This one is a Sigma Kappa sorority fraternity pin badge enamel gold filled 2015. This thing is teeny tiny, teeny tiny. There's your back, but it is a sorority fraternity pin. And those typically do well. Uh, you have to wait on the right buyer, but somebody offered me 80 and I took it. And I buy jewelry in bulk, guys, so I can't break it down to a what I paid for the jewelry stuff. I just, I buy in bulk and I buy everywhere. The next one is this Corona Extra Beer Inflatable Airplane. And I've had this listed a long time. I got it at a garage sale for five bucks. And I listed this September of 2022. So it took a little less than two years to sell. Again, I price on the high side and I am patient and I wait for things, the right buyer to come along. So um, actually I sold this for the sale price of 108.50 and I think I paid five for it and the buyer was all in for 128.80. So again, I'll sit on it for that long if I can make those kind of profits. List it and forget it. This one is a Chantilly Lane. Anytime I find these musical bears, I pick them up. They are, they're fun and they usually sell. And this one I got at the Goodwill Benz. So probably had about three to four bucks in it. And it sold for $46.50. And the buyer paid shipping. So these are my big money bolos from eBay. Items that I sourced cheap and flipped for a nice profit. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, my favorite, of course, is the Miriam Haskell. So I'll keep an eye on that. And hopefully I can update you guys later um, if she ends up listing that item for crazy money. Oh! <gasps> 
I mean, if she was willing to pay three thirty five for it and tell me in my feedback it was a good deal, what is it worth? Ah, I mean, pricing jewelry is so hard. That's why I love just bringing my jewelry to whatnot. But that piece was uh, just, it was easy to identify because it had the markings on it. It was a set. I've been trying to get more stuff on eBay. And right now, if jewelry's in front of me, I'm going to list some of it. But most of the time, I'm dumping jewelry onto a tray. I'm grabbing and selling it auction style. Everything starts at $5 or less. Can you get some deals? Yes. Come on over. Um, I am Bolo Buddies on Whatnot, all one word. And if you've never joined Whatnot, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop when you join with that referral link. And it's down below. And if you're thinking about maybe selling on Whatnot, I do have tutorials, Bolo Buddies, Whatnot for Beginners. That will bring them up. Or um, I have them linked down below. And I do have a different link that is a referral link, even if you're already on Whatnot. So if you're not on Whatnot, use the buyer's link first. So you get your $15 to shop. That's the referral link. And then use the seller's referral link second. And this can be for anybody that's already on Whatnot. That's a separate link. And that will let Whatnot know that I referred you. It'll say, Bolo Buddies referred you or whatever. And you may get accepted quicker. I don't know what the wait times are right now. They used to be crazy. Um, but I did hear if you use a referral link that you are like, I don't know. Maybe we'll get accepted quicker or I don't exactly understand how it works. That's what I've heard people say. So I guess I'm repeating a rumor because I really don't know. <laughs> but I've had a lot of people say they got accepted quickly when they used it. So I guess I do know that. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, List Perfectly doing some amazing things. I have a new video about their uh, listing assistant. Ah, game, game changer. I upgraded to the Pro Plus plan. There's a video in the description. Check it out. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about it. So I upgraded from business to pro. I've been on the business plan since 2019 and I upgraded to the pro because I wanted this. So you upgrade to the Pro Plus, or I'm sorry, you upgrade to the Pro and then you opt in to the Pro Plus for free until the end of the year. So check out those videos. There's more information and uh, just lots of new features on this perfectly. 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. That's for List Perfectly. And again, more details down below. Check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you at the next one. And come to a Whatnot show and bring your coffee. <laughs> if you watch me on Whatnot, you know what I'm talking about. Bring that coffee. Bring it. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, Seems So Vintage made this hat. <gasps> Look at these beautiful rhinestone clip-on earrings or screw back. I'm not sure. But ah, they're in her buy it now on Whatnot. Seems so vintage. I'll tag her. Thanks for watching.